Hey guys, I'm so pleased to see you back today. And I know it's a little different than normal, but we've got a really exciting story to tell you. And it's from this book right here. This book is called The Bible, and it's all about Jesus, his friends, and God. And everything in this Bible is true. Today, our story is about someone called Daniel. Daniel loved God so much and he knew that God loved him. Daniel was also really good friends with the king of the whole city. His name was King Darius. But because they were friends, this made some of the other people jealous and really upset and grumpy. Can you guys show me your best grumpy faces? Go, hmm. There you go, just like that. And so, they decided that they wouldn't let Daniel be friends with the king anymore. And so they tricked him into making a brand new law that says that you have to pray to the king, not to any other god. And this meant that Daniel couldn't pray to God anymore. What do you guys think what Daniel did? Daniel decided that he, would, he knew that God would protect him no matter what. And so he kept praying to God. Because he kept praying to God, it meant that because there was this law in place, he would have to go spend a night sleeping next to some lions. Have you guys ever been to see some lions at the zoo before? So Daniel was thrown into the lion's den and everyone was really scared. But Daniel knew that he shouldn't be afraid. And so Daniel kept praying to his God and said, God, I trust you and I know that you will protect me. So the next morning, when everybody woke up and went to check on Daniel, everyone saw that Daniel was okay because he trusted in God and God is so powerful that he protected Daniel. This story teaches us that we know that God is so powerful and so amazing. So I hope that you can remember that very special thing, that God is powerful. Now, can we all close our eyes? And I'm going to say a quick prayer. God, thank you for protecting Daniel and in the lion's den. We know that you are so, so powerful. Thank you for loving us. We love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. Can we all say amen? Thank you so much for listening to our story. I'm so pleased you could make it. See you next time.